Hey mate, how you going? So, I'm going to share with you easily the worst full-size kit I've ever handled. Like, but first mate, some context, like, why though? So, my dream project is my drum stream. You know, working as a professional drummer years back, I was never allowed to play as hard as I liked. But mate, since my stream is my own gig, I could do whatever I want. <laughs> Ah, culturally enriching. Well, uh, apart from being really stupid dumb fun, it's actually a really great test bed for equipment, you know, such as beginner stuff. Like, can it take that kind of hardcore abuse? So I've been streaming for a couple years, and my first stream kit was these, these Pearl Exports in white. Such an uncommon color, so glad to find it. And um, beat the heck out of these, I sure did, because these are Evans Hydraulics, right? The most brutal drum heads you can get. And look, I've worn them out. I beat the pants out of this kit, and it absolutely handled it. I mean, they are good drums, but I'm gonna have a whinge now. The problem is I grew up with exports. I know these really, really well, and I know that these aren't the nicest exports. Oh, uh, cause like, look at these. These are from the mid thousands. These were the last exports before they kind of went away before these ones came about. Oh man. Now we're stinking talking. It's like jewelry. Look at it compared to my professional masters, Tom. Don't these hang out together? That's a beginner drum and that's a pro drum. And I love the ISS mounts, these guys right here. Because mate, I'm a drum historian and the Pearl Export's like a really important part of drum history. Look, it's the first export to say it on the badge. <laughs> Look how they used to do it. They used to just drill a hole and smash it through. <sighs> Even this is built better. But these are just cheaper feeling drums. Like they're just not as nice as they used to be. And I can prove it. This is a white wrap. It's like a plastic wrap. And look at this. That seam should be lined up with the lugs to hide it. These ancient exports do it. Look, they hide it under the lugs. Look at this thrashed old Pearl Forum Tom, yeah? This is from the 90s. Even they could do it. That is so sad. And the new exports aren't even made in the same factory anymore. They used to be made in the same area as the masters. Now they just offshoot it somewhere else. And now learning that all the awesome big professional kits that all the superstars have been using all these years, those have been sold out as well. Like, the whole drum industry is cooked. And so mate, if the drum industry is racing to the bottom, I'll race is there. So mate, I went to easily the best store you could go to for drums. I think it's the Cashies online store. <laughs> And for 150 bucks, I found these gin bows. Oh, aren't they gorgeous? That's what you want right there. Look, even Jim Bao got it closer. It wasn't perfect, <laughs> but it's better than this. Oh, ultimate shame. And look, I have to talk about this Tom because this one is an absolute freak. This is an 11 inch Tom. I'm not lying. You can't get 11 inch drum heads. You can't do it. I've asked before. Look, I've got this 10 inch Tom stacked on top. See what I mean? It's an 11. I can't get a drum head for this. All right, let me show you how bad these Jim Bows actually are. Like, here's that Pearl Forum shell, right? This is a cheap drum from like 30 years ago. Have a smell of this abomination. What is that? <laughs> what is that whoopty in it? Oh, enhance on this. <laughs> and they like packed it full of schmoo or something. Like they knew it was messed up and they rolled it anyways. These drums are just abominable. Like they are unbelievable. They are made of the softest rubbish. Drums are made out of hardwood, like maple, birch, jarrah, you know, list goes on. These are pure dingus wood. <laughs> Disgusting. <laughs> get out the way, pro drum. Yeah, get in the family photo, mate. So I got these as I had a feeling as long as the drum was round and flat, it would tune up because modern drum skins are just amazing, right? They just fix everything. And I'm here to report that I'm basically right because I've been using this kit for the last six months. So all those simple videos you've been watching, people are like, wow, the kit sounds good. You've been listening to the gin bows. <laughs> look at the amount of wear on this baby, mate. I've been using these for ages. And look at this. I modded them when ISS mounts. Pearl, mate, if you're taking them away, I'm bringing them back. And that's real tape covering up the hole there, guys. Do you like the hole I cut for the bass drum, mate? Eh? I really, I really took my time with that one. This bass drum's horrible. Look, only six lugs. 
only six. They're like little hands that help hold it in place, but it's held up good. And mate, Evan's EMAD saves the day. But these bass drum legs are not too dissimilar to ones that were found on kits in the 1950s. And the bass drum and the floor tom are so lightweight that they just scoot around all over the place. This snare drum is pure crap. Absolute garbage. Look, you gotta zip tie the strainer down so it doesn't undo. <laughs> I'm gonna tune it up for you for this video, but I, I honestly never use this. Even with new heads and wires and everything, what a waste. I actually used the Pearl Export snare that came with the 80s export. <laughs> there you go, put new heads on it. This is the drum that I actually use. What a huge upgrade. I think like, it basically cost me 20 bucks. So I just gotta put some new heads on the gym bows, mate. We'll go on a you know, we'll go and set it up and have a listen. I'm just gonna quickly do the tennis tom so we can laugh at <laughs> just what a terrible thing this is. ISS mount off. It's so easy, Pearl, bring that back. Tension rods always detune on drums when you're beating the heck out of them. And the best part of this kit is that these are so rusted that they haven't detuned at all. It's actually been better than my pro kit. Oh, lovely. Oh, that's nice. Look how wavy these drum shells are. What's that all about, Jimbao? Watch this going like a dream. That's not bad. None of these go in smoothly, by the way. This is a horrible kit to interact with. Yeah, all of these feel really tight and yet they're not actually touching the head yet. That's what makes tuning this such a nightmare is that you just gotta feel it, you know? You can see it pinching in weird spots. <laughs> That's not good. Uh, let me fiddle with this for about half an hour. This isn't a tuning video. It would take about 16 hours to do. And it's probably gonna take 10 hours to get this into tune because it's not even round. It's pinching in weird spots. I'm, I'm gonna tune this. I'll see you in the other room. Yeah, mate. She's set up. Got the SM57s on. Got the Austrian audios up here. These are amazing microphones. Just wanted to show the symbols that I do use all the time, mate. These were found in hard rubbish, these old Ks. This is a Sabian Pro from Cashies and it's buckled. I don't even know what that is. It sounds cromulent. Yes, the bootleg Zildjian is hanging out. <laughs> I love it. That's my crash symbol. And uh, for now, mate, I've put the $80 stag on here from Cashies. It's so good. Like, do, I really do want to prove that you don't need nice drums. Like, where it counts, get good pedals. That's actually what you feel and use. This kit's made out of garbage. Oh, just got to load the stream, guys. Hang on, let me, let me just fast forward through. Yeah, yeah, hang on, nine, eight, seven, whatever, blah, blah, blah. Yeah. Isn't that fun? And let me, let me buzz you in. Na, 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 na. That black square is normally where the chat is. It's the horrible misery that is this drum stream. That is a live feed of Frank. She's full of rats right now. This drum kit looks so much worse with the clear heads. The, the coated ones really hid the misery. I hate this snare drum though. I don't want it. Export drum! Frank! Frankie! Frank, where are you going? No! There are some effects, there is some reverb, there's gates. I've had like a, an audio engineer friend do all this. Didn't he, Frankie? He, that's what he did for me, he fixed the thing. So there are some tricks going on, but this kit is pure garbage. So if you want to hear this kid all six times a week, mate, on Floatplane, not Twitch, independent platform, I'm the only regular streamer on the platform. That's how tiny it is. It's heaps fun. There's no free version, I'm sorry. Two bucks eighty a month. Come and give it a go. Here, have a taste of the rubbish I'll play at you.
that's the sound of pure garbage. That's my big message, is you don't need nice drums. Get whatever tubs you can, you know, swap out the pedals, swap out the cymbals over time. They could be a mishmash of whatever you find for cheap, and you can get away with it. So I hope to see you in the stream. Thanks for watching. Frank.